let me introduce you to a new tool uh, developed for monitoring firings. The LISA 2 system is uh, made in, and developed here in Denmark based on our experience that if the staff are available in the barn doing the right job with the sows, following other urban sows that need help, following other on piglets that are newborn, then you'll see uh, amazing results compared to if you're not there. We all know that it's important to be there when the sows give birth and we know that it makes a difference if we take care and help our sows. And that's why we decided to develop the LISA system. The LISA system has shown very good results on tests here in Denmark and abroad. In Denmark we have done a three month test uh, on a sow farm with 1300 sows and for uh, this three months period uh, we took two days in a week with the most uh, uh, firings going on and made 24 hour surveillance uh, by using the lysis system. For this period we could see that we reduced the stillborn converting them to uh, lifeborn with one per, per liter. It means that only by this converting stillborn to lifeborn we could gain more than 2.5 three piglets per sow per year. Just being there, doing the right jobs. Uh, we could also see that we have reduced the pre-weaning mortality by up to 3% because when the people are there uh, around the sows, then when newborn uh, are coming, then the staff is there to take care of them, to get them to the colostrum, dry them, whatever is needed. So all in all, we, can s we have seen very good results with being there and any farmer in the world will know that being in the barn, taking care of sows and piglets during the farming process is what gains results. That's also why you always organize your staff as the first thing in the morning, get into the firing unit, follow up on the, on the night firings. But typically, you'll see uh, most stillborn piglets laying there in the morning and cleaning up uh, all what went wrong in the night. So how does the Lisa work? The LISA system is a package, a startup package with a set of 10 handsets and a data converter to make a communication with the uh, farm computer. In the farm computer you can make different settings. You can put in how often you want to visit your sows in two different periods. It means I can decide that the first two hours I want to visit my sows uh, with one hour interval and after that for example, half, every half an hour. I can put IDs for my operators or names for my operators into the system and when I have done all the basic uh, uh, settings in my farm computer, then I upload uh, the settings to my license uh, handsets and they are ready to use. Then I can install the uh, docking station here close to the farm computer or I can um, make a connection with a cable to my firing uh, barns on the corridor for example and hang them on the wall and then I have them where I need to use them. When a sow gives birth then I take a handset and with the very simple menu here with arrows I can choose uh, first of all who I am, who is entering the data. That's the first uh, uh, data that we need to enter. So I choose that I'm Henrik. After that I press the Saudi SAW ID, enter and confirm the SAW number. After, from now on the timer is going on, counting the minutes from the very uh, time that I started up the firing. When the SAW gives birth or start firing, then typically it delivers one or two uh, live born piglets. So I choose in the menu the line with alive piglets and enter for example two alive piglets. And then I confirm my entering data and now in the display you'll see in my settings here I did every 10 minutes visit or visiting the sows every 10 minutes and I'll see now that this sow um, is uh, the firing is going on from this sow and there will be 10 minutes left when I need to visit again. Then I hang up the unit on top of the crate and the time here counts down minute by minute. And every sow I start, I will hang up a Lisa. 
It means that the staff have a very good idea what sows are giving birth at the very moment. When the time is up, the alert time, which I did in my settings, then I'll get a red flashlight. It means that after 10 minutes here, it will start giving a, a slowly red flash. It gives an information to the staff that now you need to follow up on this individual sow. And if you don't show up and enter some data or just confirm that you have been there and everything is okay, then you'll see that the red flashlight after five minutes will start going more fast. And this fast light will continue until a person has been there to enter data or confirm a uh, visit in the sow. When you come back to the sow and follow up after this 10 minutes, then you'll enter here and identify yourself. Who am I? Am I the same person as the last time? Uh, or it's, it could be another person. Then I'll get into the menu and see all what is recorded for now. I can see here that the alive pickles is two because last time it was two pickles born. In the pen I can now see that the sow has given more piglets and now there are five piglets. So I enter five piglets. Then I can also see that it's a one stillborn. I record one stillborn and that's all for now. And I've confirmed my recording. Then again, the clock in the lease has started counting down and I hang it up on top, following up on myself and so on. And all this is going on all the way through the firing process. In the menu we can choose to enter different uh, data, live-born piglets, still-born piglets, mummified piglets, weak-born piglets, birth assistance, it means when you help the sow, when the people help the sow, then you can record that you have done that. You can record the medic medication you use, 10 different products. You can record the body temperature of the sow in Celsius or in Fahrenheit. So it means that all what many farms are doing now on a paper, on top of the, each sow, is now put into a digital uh, database. It gives us a unique new uh, opportunity afterwards to extract those data and analyze what is going on. It means that now the staff, per automatic, is, mon is uh, motivated to get around following up on the sounds because they know that the red light indicates that I need to do something. If I don't do anything, then I'll also, then I also know as a staff that somebody can see that in a, uh, an analyze. And it means you can follow up on your staff who is doing the job on time, what is the difference if we do, do the job on time compared to the staff who don't do it on time, etc. The analysis can be done very simply in the LISA, and, uh, in the LISA software belonging to the system, but you can also extract the data directly to your existing uh, farm management program if it has an interface, which many programs have. It means that automatically your Firings can be recorded and you don't need to enter firing data into your system by manual way. But when you put it into the socket here, you charge the battery of the LISA and the data will automatically go to the computer. It means that you'll have an on-time uh, uh, updated data into the LISA software. When you extract the data, then you can, as I said, analyze it in the LISA software or you can extract it direct to a management program. The LISA system itself is produced and assembled here in Denmark. It's developed by some of the uh, farmers uh, working in Denmark and farmers working abroad. And um, we have chosen to produce it in Denmark because we know that the quality is perfect and good and it's uh, produced to uh, have a, longevity, a strong longevity in the rough environment.